from Universal Studios Hollywood. Welcome to Home and Family. It is the beginning. Of, you want me to do this? Or no, gonna, I can okay. do this. Okay. I just had to take a moment out. Right. For, Dr. Ruth Sorotskin is here. Welcome, Dr. Ruth. You can talk to us about the flu season, getting your flu shots, right? Right. How important is that for us to get our flu? Well, that's what I'll tell you. It's the time of year. Every year it's a little bit different, so I'll be very happy to tell you about who should get the flu shot, why, and when. Okay. I know I still have time, but am I late? Like, are a lot of people already not getting late. them? No. no you're I not can, late. Would it be ahead of it if I got it? Like, what, by the third act of the show today? <laughs> that would be perfect. Would be perfect? It would be okay. perfect. As you know, the right. flu goes around here. Once somebody yeah. gets it here in the house, oh. it goes through all of us like wildfire. And if you have kids, they yeah. it and they bring it home. Right, that's right. So, look, the Centers for Disease Control says now is the time to get your flu shot to make it through this year's flu season. Or you could do like me, just live in a bubble through the entire flu season, <laughs> never be exposed to a virus at all. all ever. Here with the very latest, please welcome Dr. Ruth Sorotskin, who is a family physician at St. John's Health Center in Santa Monica. And well, I hate shots, you. You but I, know, I get, I know. I know. I know. They I mean, hurt. Well, who, who, by the way, says I love shots? I mean, nobody. That nobody does. Nobody does. Can you explain to me, though, because yes. my kids will ask me this, and I want to sound intelligent. What's the difference between a cold and the flu? It's a big difference, Mark. Really? Cold starts uh, as a common virus, a little bit of a sore throat, maybe a little stuffy nose, not feeling well. Um, but most people with a cold can kind of go around and do what they usually do. Mm -hmm. um, the flu, on the other hand, hits you like a truck. I mean, right. typically with the flu, you get uh, body aches, chills. You just you feel like you can't move. So why is it important to get the shot, and who should get it? The, uh, young children and older children, uh, older children, older uh, older people, are, are they more susceptible to the flu well, virus? It is recommended that everyone over six months gets the flu shot, um, but particularly there are some groups who are more at risk, so who would get much sicker if who? they got the flu? Who? So um, young children, asthmatics, diabetics, people with heart disease, chronic lung conditions, uh, so it, particularly the elderly, um, so they can get much sicker. How long do they last? The flu shot. The flu yeah. shot lasts a year, uh, and Whole that's year. It wears off by the end. So we're just starting flu season now. Mm -hmm. um, usually we start seeing the first cases of the flu uh, maybe late November, early December, which is why now's the time to get your flu shot because the flu shot takes about two weeks to be effective. To really kick in. Yeah. So you want to get it ahead of you start hearing that your friends are getting the flu, mm -hmm. so it can yeah. protect you. And it goes off into the spring. Last year. We actually had a fairly significant flu season that lasted well into the spring, and sometimes we see a second peak that mm -hmm. will get a little bump and then it'll come up again. Like are, are, are there several strains of, of viruses that you can get? Not like, oh, you need a flu shot for the one flu uh, well, virus. Well, flu is very interesting because the viruses, there are several of them, and they change, they mutate throughout the year and as they travel around the world. So right now you'll hear of, um, the flu viruses have either three, called the uh, trivalent, or four strains, the quadrivalent. So the uh, trivalent has against influenza A, type A, so it's uh, type A and the H1N1 that everybody's mm -hmm. heard about in recent years, and one strand of the B. Um, and the quadrivalent will have the H1N1 uh, influenza A and then two strands of the Do B. they change year in and year out? Like, do. Let's... That's what they're crazy bugs, right? Yeah. And yeah. throughout the year, the virus has changed so that whatever you had last year Doesn't isn't going to help you this year. It's a lot like yeah. fashion. You never know. Very much so. It's like, not, it's like stockings. Once you get a yeah. one, and you have to buy Should you one. wear the fishnets? Yeah. <laughs> Here, on a serious note, doctor, actually, I think for a lot of the moms in the audience, mm -hmm. I might be asking this question, and that is, I've heard that when you get the shot, you get some of the, um, you feel fluish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you, who wants to be down for a week? So well, why get it? I think one of the biggest myths is you get the flu. You don't right. really get the flu, okay? Because okay. The, the vaccine is inactivated. It's a killed vaccine. So some people can get a reaction from the flu vaccine, and it really shows your immune system's working oh. because your immune system's responding uh, to it. So some people get a little bit achy, maybe feel a little bit, you know, lightheaded or um, a little soreness, but that means the vaccine's working, actually. And you know what, speaking to that point too, I, I mean, we were kind of talking in that we're a little nervous for our kids to get right. the flu shot, but I have a concern about, you know, should we be concerned to have a shot a vaccine every single year. Yeah, I've never given my kids the flu shot. Yeah, I've never had the flu shot. Yeah. I, I feel neither. like all the kids at school are sick, regardless of like what day I'm there. I mean, yeah. 
they're all sick. And I don't know if that one flu shot is taking away, like, you know, just the flu. But every day they have the green boogers and this. <laughs> and all my friends say they give their kids the flu shot. And I'm like, well, your kids are worse than mine. Like, I'd rather well, just not have that flu it, well, shot. Well, it's concerning for the yearly thing, though. First of all, remember that the flu vaccine is against the flu. So there's a lot of other respiratory illnesses that go around throughout the year that give the snotty noses and all the other stuff yeah. that the kids may come back with. So I'm a big proponent of the vaccine, and I do not believe there isn't any harm in getting the vaccine here. Yes. Is there a defense against other than the shot? I mean, we want to be we want to have some good habits, I assume, and teaching our kids, you know, that stuff <laughs> doesn't need to happen, right? right? I think the biggest one is hand washing, and I can't stress yeah. that enough. You know, before you eat, as soon as you come into the house, you just can't wash your hands and get those those germs off enough. Well, is the flu an airborne virus, or do you can you breathe it in if somebody sneezes, or do you just get it by? It's airborne, your hand? and you're uh -huh. touching things, but it's it can also be on you know doorknobs and grocery oh, carts, and so yes. Oh, it can happened. live on. Oh, objects. Okay. How long can the virus live? Like let's say like on a shopping cart, it can't live very long. I don't, it doesn't live very long. Yeah, but, but you, you know, can, shopping yeah. cart—you got people all, all the long. time. Well, now is this covered by insurance? The yes. flu shot? Yes, the flu shot is definitely covered by insurance. And and how long does it typically last if we get the flu? Because sometimes you're going, you, I've had it, and I like feel bad for a day or two or whatever, and then I still takes a while yeah. to. Do we know what this particular? Strain. We don't. We don't really know the strength, what's going to happen until we get well into the season. It's always kind of the mystery of, okay, what's this year going to be like? Right. Um, but typically, you get hit hard with the flu. So, you know, within a few days, you kind of know it. You really are knocked down. Um, people will call in all the time and say, I'm, I'm too sick to come in. That's how sick I feel. And that's when you worry that they've got the flu. I think you're all way too young to remember, but there was a strain of the Hong Kong flu going around in the early 70s, late 60s. I nearly died. Yeah. I nearly oh. died. It was horrific. That and then I started getting flu shot after that. Well, but that was fr that was a, a particularly horrible, horrible strain. Yeah. And that's what people don't you know, we don't realize how yeah. bad the strain is going to be yeah. until we get into it. There are things you can do for the flu. Like um, what? you can treat your symptoms definitely. How? Okay. How? Over the counter medication. Um, treat the congestion. Treat, you know, treat the cough. Treat the fever. The body aches. Mm -hmm. Lots of fluids. Hydrate. Um, definitely a, can help prevent. You know, people get secondary infections from the flu. Also, we can end up with a sinus infection. Infection, an ear sure. infection, pneumonia. Um, pneumonia is the yeah. one that gets the illness. Um, I, I do always like to, you know, talk about med the medications. There is a medication yeah. out there, an antiviral called Tamiflu, and that needs to be taken within the first f 48 to 72 hours. So when you have that sense that I have the flu, not the common cold, because it really yeah. is not indicated for the cold. So we don't want everyone out there just yeah. taking Tamiflu as soon as they're feeling those first. Oh, I got something. I'm sure. sick, but it's indicated for the flu. Is um, that and over the counter? Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, no. It's a prescription, oh, and what it does is it helps so that the virus doesn't fully replicate in your body okay. and shortens the course of the illness, okay. um, as well as uh, um, hopefully uh, the symptoms. There's a flu bug. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Great. The flu bug is now <laughs> was great. The jammy flu, though, um, I get it for each member. I have the doctor order for each member of our family, and uh, the, our family here at home and family came down with the strain, and I started feeling it, it and I quick. immediately yeah. started the jammy flu the minute I got the symptoms from it, and I stayed in front of it, and I was, it was able, to, yeah. you know. So that that's. A I'm great, always that's a little advice. sensitive though, but yeah. it does happen every year. We never know how much the supply is, so yeah. I always put I the, don't take the Tamiflu yeah. unless, unless you, you really have, need it because yeah. it's yeah. really. Really hard when you have yeah. patients who need it and yeah. you're calling the pharmacies and it's just not yeah. fair. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, your pharmacist has all the answers to your questions. We have a, a Rite Aid right by the house, so I'm going to zip down because Rite Aid has uh, flu shots for you if you want to yes. head over there. And again, ask the pharmacist if we didn't get to something, starve a cold, feed a fever, feed a cold, starve, I don't know. But <laughs> I just eat. makes me feel good. Feel better. Period, right? uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.